Robotics and IoT are two sectors that have seen explosive growth around the world and in India. Today, your story is at Serena Technologies, a startup that has dipped its toes in both these sectors. After bootstrapping for three years and focusing mainly on R&D and manufacturing, it aims to break even this year. Here is their story. There's a lot of hype about robotics in the world for a very long time now. As I was sitting one day and thinking, uh, why not make robotics more accessible? And by accessible, I mean, how about kids getting access to robotics firsthand? So I've not seen a robot myself all my life, trust me. I've visited a few countries everywhere, but I really haven't seen a robot myself. So, idea was how about creating a humanoid, which can be more real and for kind of help kids learn from it, grow with it. That's the idea. Almost 80%, 90% of a business in the future will also be in the robotic space. But we also venture into a little bit of IoT, uh, coming from streaming audio kind of a direction. The reason is we come from that background ourselves. The team and uh, myself, we come from almost eight, 10 years of streaming audio experience. We are the same team which built AirPlay and uh, now CAS solution with Google, whole bunch of different solutions working with different big companies in the world. So we have been partners. So we wanted to use that, all that knowledge and also the relationships with the ODMs in China which build these products for the world. So we want to leverage that and see if we can put the most feature-rich multi-room audio kind of a platform in India for at an affordable price. This year is special for us because Nino is ready finally. So since January we have been meeting up with schools and engaging them. So we have, we have uh, at a late stage engagement with almost 30 plus schools. We have been uh, very closely uh, touched with the government of Karnataka. So, and they're, so they are very excited about Nino uh, specifically. But uh, they, they want Nino to be in a very different specific application use case. What they asked us to do is, is basically to build, build a larger bot for a very specific use case. The immediate goal is to break even. So we are a company which is uh, not venture funded, so so we want to be cash positive very very quickly. So I'm hoping that that will happen in June, and we are very positive about it. And and we are not setting uh, goals which are not achievable. Typically, large companies have tend to have this. They set huge goals and underperform. So. Uh, because they, their valuation is important, they have to answer their investors, everything. Luckily, we don't have to. So, we, because of that, we, we are very real about our optimism. So, we basically say that 10 schools, 10 schools is what we get. So, we are very sure about it. But we are engaged with over 100 schools. Customers, once they bought their car, did not have options on good prices and did not have options on good quality. There was no place that they could actually get standardized prices on, say, any kind of damage or body shop repair. And that is exactly what we focus on at Bumper.com. Toy market is actually worldwide, it's an $80 billion market. And uh, there's a new category of toys, uh, this connected robotics toy that is emerging uh, in this market for the last two, three years it has come up. 